Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, for the most part, not too bad of a way to start our weekend. A little cold this morning and temperatures topping out close to 60, which is pretty nice, but still a few degrees below average. But some of you, especially north of Evansville, have been dealing with some scattered rain showers for the last couple of hours. But those are also on the way out. And we'll begin that clearing process here for the majority of the viewing area this evening and continuing tonight. But outside right now, no rain to speak of in the Evansville metros. We're looking at the uh, view of the twin bridges from our Ellis Park Tower our camera kind of rocking back and forth still a little gusty outside with those winds in excess of 10 to 15 miles per hour they will be calming down though here over the course of our evening and a beautiful scene after what was a mostly cloudy view earlier from our superior ag tower camera from downtown evansville looking at the sun going down sunset just at 7 14 this evening and the clouds and the precipitation on the way out just in time for that sunset as well. With the clear skies though, we actually jumped up a couple degrees uh, earlier this evening from the mid 50s up now to 58 degrees after again that high today for Evansville at 59. But there's those gusty winds west southwest at 17 miles per hour. But once this weak cold front moves through, it will be bringing some chilly temperatures tonight, but it will also calm those winds down as we go deeper into the night. For the most part, temperatures ranging from 50 to 55 degrees in those rain cooled locations north of I-64 to 55 to 60 closer to the metro and still holding on to a couple 60 degree readings or at least one right now. Dixon still at 60 degrees. We'll all continue this fall through the 50s after sunset through the 40s and overnight tonight temperatures down into the low to mid 30s for overnight lows and that's why the majority of the viewing area under a frost advisory that will run through 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. The only exception those counties to the north along the US 50 corridor uh, but we will still see those chilly temperatures uh, waking up tomorrow morning. So if you have any sensitive vegetation outside, be sure to cover them if you can. Bring them inside if you can as well, as there could be some frost that could provide some damage to those uh, crops and some plants outside. But for the most part, many of us dry. Live first warning Doppler radar showing just a few lingering showers near the Rockport area of uh, Spencer County. A little bit more heavier, uh, not as heavy as what it was a little bit ago across parts of Perry County as well. But that's on the way out of the tri-state. You can see some pockets of yellows. But when this system was just getting going in southern Illinois, had some pretty heavy downpours with that. So it's weakening a little bit as it crosses southwestern Indiana and exits the tri-state here within the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes. River-wise, most of the area rivers are on the way down until you get to the Little Wabash River. It actually has a crest in the forecast uh, right at and maybe slightly above flood stage. Forecast by Wednesday afternoon to crest at 27.2 feet, just a tad above the flood stage there of 27. So we'll keep an eye on those rivers. Not expecting heavy rainfall, but we do have a couple of waves of showers that we'll be dealing with, beginning with overnight tomorrow night early Monday and then from there it's off and on kind of unsettled for the beginning of next week but future tracker shows us clearing out tonight staying mostly clear for your Sunday but then clouds gradually increase once again after sunset tomorrow so the majority of your Sunday looking very nice highs in the low 60s good amount of sunshine but the clouds start to increase overnight tomorrow daybreak Monday scattered showers across the metro shifting south of Evansville so Evansville and points north most of Monday afternoon will be quiet and dry but south of the river western Kentucky more in the way of showers as we head into to your Monday night and then lifting back up to the north as we head into Tuesday and Tuesday afternoon. So not really a washout, but we are going to be watching often on waves all the way through basically early Monday morning through early Wednesday afternoon. So the rest of the evening temperatures falling through the mid 50s and eventually into the 40s. And then we do stay on the mild side, but unsettled. So often on waves of showers through early uh, to midday Wednesday, drying out by Wednesday evening. And then unfortunately, there we go again, not nef really cold, but several degrees below average. I know a lot of people are hoping the spring warm weather will arrive and stay, but still kind of up and down roller coaster pattern through next week. All right. Well, thank you, Cody.